Hey guys, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. Thanks for joining me today on my channel. We're going to have some more fun today. We are working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And it's a level three. The brand is called Artist Loft. And I am going to be doing my normal Dutch pour today using the PPG Pro Contractors House Interior Paint as my base layer. I'm going to cover my canvas and cover my sides and pop my bubbles and then come back and we are going to talk about this design that I have in mind. Um, one thing that you should always do, you know, when you are getting ready to do your pours is just make sure that your canvas is level in all four corners to ensure that, and for some reason this one, there we go. See, I'm using these little floor, they're like floor, um, furniture floor protectors or floor protectors for your furniture. And um, you can adjust the heights to ensure that your canvas is level. And so that's what I like to do to make sure that it's all level. You just take your level and put it in all four corners to ensure, perfect, and even in the middle. Yep, okay. In this little level, it's actually my husband's. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I took it from him <laughs> so I could level up my canvas, but he went and bought another one just like it so he can keep the new one. Um, but I recommend you getting one of those for sure because otherwise if your canvas isn't level, then your paint is going to shift to that side, whichever is the lowest side, it'll just run because the paint is just going to, you know, have gravity take over and it will just slide to the side that's the lowest. So let's keep it on the canvas and not let it slide off and, and waste. My colors for today, we're going to do kind of chromatic. Chromatic today, I guess that's a good word for it. Um, we are going to start off with a Liquitex black. I have a Liquitex Silver, um, the Pebeo Studio uh, Copper, and then the Pebeo Studio Gold. So those are my four colors that I'm going to work with today. Um, there's definitely going to be a shine with this, kind of chromatic looking, but um, I think it's going to be really cool. I haven't done one with these colors yet. I've done similar colors, but not exactly these colors. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to look really cool. So I'm going to put you on fast forward for the piece that I cover my canvas with my base paint. I'll come back and then we can get started on this beautiful design that I have in mind. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. We have flooded the canvas and covered our sides. And we are just about ready to get going on this pour today. <clears throat> it looks like all the bubbles are just about popped. Yeah, 
looking good. Sometimes my eyes play tricks on me. I think we're looking good. All right. <clears throat> One more. <laughs> There's always just that one more that just surfaces and says, hello, I'm back. All right, <laughs> let's get going today. Oops. What are you guys doing? Sneaking up there. All right, we're gonna start off with my Liquitex Black and we're gonna do the similar design that I just did with the blues and copper. Um, but of course they never look exactly the same. So, but I just want that similar design. So I'm going to take it kind of about right here. Let's see, anything else? I'm going to take this down just a hair bit more. And I'm going to do this and like this. All right. So I think that's the design I'm going to go with and how I'm going to blow it out. It helps me to kind of outline something like this just to get me started. And this is the silver. Looks like it's going to be a good design. Nice composition. Now with a little copper. We're going to have all the metals Copper, silver, gold. <laughs> the only thing, I'm not going to put some bronze. I mean, I thought about putting bronze, but I don't want the bronze in it. Sometimes the bronze kind of muddies it up if you're not careful. So I felt like I didn't want bronze in this one. All right, so I got that. The only thing that I'm wondering right now, should I put in a little iridescent white to brighten it up at all? You know what? I think I will do just a tad bit of this iridescent white. This is a Liquitex iridescent white. Just adds a little bit of brightness to it. It helps sometimes, kind of blends them together, gives the lights and darks. I like that effect. All 
Yeah, that should be good. All right, I think we are ready to blow this one out. I think I'm kind of excited about this one. Okay, here we go, guys. All righty, here we go. I'm gonna start up in this area here. Take a look at this and see if I need to do any tweaking. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit right over here. And then right over here. Okay. Oh, the design looks super pretty. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's going to look so good. Yes, sirree. I'm going to like you. Yes, I'm going to like it a lot. This looks like a little lamp right there, but it's probably where I'm going to put my focal point, so I'll see if that's a lump of paint or, or what it is. That looks like a bubble right there. Got it. Oh, I really like it. All right. I am going to take you down for a close-up and then we'll do the signature style. All right, so here it is right now before we do the signature style on it. I think what she looks like right now is beautiful, really beautiful. And I could leave it like this, but of course I don't want to. I want to play with it some more. But I thought I'd just show you before we went to our next step. You guys, let me know what you guys think. But she's going to shimmer. Oh boy. All right, let's have some more fun. Stick with me, guys, till the end. So. I can share with you the final results. All right, so it's time to play with this a little bit more and my paintbrush is over there. So I am going to go get that real quick. And here we go. All right. My focal point's gonna be about right here. So I'm gonna bring in bring it in. Should I go that way? Yeah. Okay, so I am gonna bring it in about right here. And I knew that there was a little lump in that point. Ooh, almost. That was dangerous. Probably shouldn't do that, <laughs> but I did anyways. All right, let's bring this back through again. Okay. 
Get some middle. Little focal point. Okay, so let's bring this down. I have to play with the middle a little bit, but that's okay. These colors are really cool. It's a nice combination. I think this piece is going to look really have an elegant feel to it. All this gold and copper looks super striking. Gold and copper really just taken off. A lot of people are loving gold and copper lately, even silver. <laughs> Now the silver did kind of get lost in this one. I don't really see a lot of silver, but it's not the end of the world. It looks pretty the way it is, but what it probably did is just mixed with the black a little bit. So there's, there's like a hint of gray, so maybe that's the silver coming through. Yeah. She's looking very pretty. I really like her. Today, looking outside behind me, there's a window right here bes behind me, and there's cows roaming back beyond the fence. I love to see them out there just roaming the pasture. I grew up on a farm, kind of a mini farm, a little family farm, I should say. We had eight kids in the family, and so we all had our own chores, and we had all kinds of animals. We had beef cattle, we had horses, sheep, goats, 
chickens, turkeys, rabbits, um, pigs. I had my own pig and I used to breed her and sell the babies. And uh, yeah, it was a good way when you're only like 12, 14 years old to make some money besides babysitting. <laughs> it was a good way to be a little entrepreneur and make a little money while I was going through high school. So I was a farm girl. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about working hard, that's for sure. We were all very hard workers. We had a garden when we were growing up. We grew all of our own vegetables. It was a lot of work, but we ate good. All fresh veggies, all good meats. But this part right here is so cool. Just a lot of design going on right there with how the I guess that iridescent white kind of mixed in with the gold and copper. It's really stunning. I'll take you in for a closer look when we get there to that point, but there's just a lot going on right there that looks so cool. I love it. That's one thing I just love about this kind of work, this kind of art, is all these designs that you get to see within your work the design within the design it is just so cool that looks pretty cool kind of see if i should go to the circle a little bit like that we're almost there guys this is looking better than I thought it would, really. I mean, I just wasn't sure about these, this color combination, but it has definitely proven to be a beautiful combination. I could see me doing a big one with these colors. I love going big. <laughs> I want to do more big ones. And just picking the right colors to ensure that it would look good. All right, I think we're about there, guys. I'll take you down for a closer look. I'm going to fix up this center just one more time real quick. Fix that up real quick. I'm going to stick another drop right in that center. Maybe that looks better. And then I'm going to stick one more drop. Patience. Not too big. One drop right in the center of that. That looks good. So 
long as it doesn't stretch out too much, I think we'll be good. And then one more tiny little blow out right here I want to do real quick. Just wanted to fix that. Yep, that looks much better. Kind of want to fix it right here. didn't want to fix. That might have to stay like that. And then I'm going to fix it right here. If you see a spot on your painting you don't care for, you can just stick your end of a paintbrush right in it and just kind of drag it. All right, I think I'm going to take you down for a close-up. I am really liking the style of this one. Hey guys, I'm back and here's the final results of this one. We just put our signature style on it. And wow, I think she looks amazing. Like, so beautiful. I'm just loving everything about this one the composition the colors just so much to love about this one i'm really very proud of this one all right guys i wanted to say thank you again to all of you who have stuck with me so far those of you who are just joining me thank you so much i hope you have subscribed to my channel and gotten notified for all of my videos that I post. And you can check me out on my website at www.tinasinspiredart.com. And my Facebook and Instagram are both Tina's Inspired Art. So please stick with me, guys. Share my posts, share my YouTube site. I'd like to grow to a thousand subscribers and with your help, I can get there. I really appreciate all of you. And until next time, have a beautiful day. Bye for now.